Hello guys, welcome to the video on how to find out the center of mass of a uniform semicircular disc. In my previous video, I told you how to find out the center of mass of a circular disc which lies at the center. Now this is a semicircular disc. So let's see where does the center of mass of this uh, figure lies. So I have chosen x and y axis. This is the radius of the semicircular disc and this is the elemental strip of width dx and uh, x is the radius of this strip so this strip is like a semicircular wire or a semicircular ring now since the mass is distributed uniformly over the surface we choose surface mass density which is dm over da or mass per unit area which is uh, total mass by the area of this disc half disc is pi r square by 2 since the total disc is pi r square and the half disc is pi r square by 2 so this can also be written as 2m by pi r square so sigma is dm by da or 2m by pi r square so this da is the area of this ring or the strip which i have chosen so let's see what is that da so da is the area of the strip if you look so clearly that dx is a very small width of this strip so if you pull the strip out and stretch it it would look like a rectangle of length pi into x because the circumference of a semicircle is pi r which is r is the radius and since x is the radius here we can write the circumference of this the length of this strip is pi x and the height is dx so the area will be pi x into dx so the area of the strip is pi x into dx so let's find out the coordinates of center of mass along x and y so by definition coordinates of center of mass along x is x cm is equal to x dm over the entire mass and y cm is integral y dm over the entire mass now what are these x and y so x and y is the center of mass coordinates of this ring or this semicircular ring now we know for the semicircular ring there is no coordinate along x axis so the x coordinate of semi x coordinate of center of mass of a semicircular ring is 0 so x is 0 and the center of mass of a ring lies at a distance of 2r by pi to know why it is 2r by pi you can go through my uh, previous videos so I have this y is equal to 2r by pi but the radius is x here so I can write y is equal to 2x by pi so look at this clearly x is 0 which is the coordinate of center of mass of this half ring along x is 0 but the coordinate of y because center of mass of this half ring lies at a height of 2x by pi because the radius is x so you will get this from the old, older videos or previous videos you can check in for this this is simply the center of mass of a semicircular ring because it is in the form of a ring so let's come back to the integration since x is 0 then i can write this is integral 0 into dm over entire mass and this is 0 so let's solve for the y cm so we can say by symmetry that center of mass lies anywhere on the y axis so the y center of mass or the coordinate of center of mass along y for this semicircular disk is y cm is equal to y which is 2x by pi into dm now look at this sigma is dm by da so dm can be written as 2m by pi r square into da so let me write that 2m by pi r square into da over the entire mass so since m is constant we can cancel m so let me solve this so this is integration of 2x by pi and you have 2 by pi left here and r square now what is da da i all already written it is the the area of the strip or the ring which is pi x dx so this is simply pi x dx now pi also gets cancelled so you have 4 by pi r square you can take it common and you have left inside 
with x square dx this is x and one more x here x square dx now what are the limits for this let's see you have to integrate the half uh, disk which is the value of x start from 0 till the stop which is x the value lies from 0 to r so the limits are simply 0 to r let's solve for this 4 over pi r square into integration of x square is x cube over 3 and the limits are 0 to r so if you substitute the limits it would be 4 by pi r square into r cube by 3 so if i could cancel r square i would left with 4 r by 3 pi so this is the final answer 4 r by 3 pi which means the center of mass lies at a height of 4 r by 3 pi for a semicircular disc and for a semicircular wire or a ring it lies at a distance of 2 r by pi so i hope this is clear for you thanks for watching the video